and what a great pleasure it is to participate in this leaders' event on accelerating clean energy technology, innovation, and deployment. And I believe that this event provides us all with a unique opportunity to accelerate innovation and the deployment of clean energy solutions to meet the goals that we set out in Paris. Kenya recognizes the value and the interconnectedness between energy, climate change, and people. And the critical role of achieving the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, as well as the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Ladies and gentlemen, demand for energy is on the rise. And there are 759 million people in the world who today have no access to electricity, while 3 billion people do not have access to clean cooking fuels and technologies. At the same time, the energy sector accounts for three quarters of greenhouse gas emissions. And the critical challenge, therefore, is how to reduce carbon emissions from the energy sector while ensuring that all people have access to clean energy. We therefore need urgently to develop new clean energy technologies that meet the energy demand without exasperating greenhouse gas emissions. We in Kenya have made significant progress in advancing access to affordable and clean energy for all. And in this regard, we have increased access to electricity from below 30% in 2013 to over 75% in 2020. We have installed the biggest wind power plant in Sub-Saharan Africa and are steadily exploiting and deploying available geothermal potential, currently estimated at some 10,000 megawatts, to help us push our green agenda. In these developments, Kenya has demonstrated that it is possible to achieve ambitious development goals while remaining green. Renewable energy in Kenya currently accounts for 73% of all our installed power generation capacity. And while 90% of the electricity that we use is from clean sources, we are on course to achieve our goal, our target of 100% use of clean energy by 2030, and to achieve a 100% access in clean cooking by 2028. In the framework, <laughs> thank you. In the framework of the high level dialogue on energy that was held in September of this year, Kenya continues to play the role of a global theme champion on energy access with a specific focus on clean cooking. And to demonstrate our commitment, Kenya did submit an energy compact on clean cooking, indicating clear actions towards achieving universal adaptation, adoption and use of clean cooking solutions, advancing the achievements of SDG 7, which is to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. We appreciate that low carbon energy technologies offer more sustainable ways to meet energy demand to fuel economies while simultaneously reducing greenhouse gases. However, access to and deployment of these technologies remains a persistent barrier. Nonetheless, Kenya's long and medium term policies underpin a pathway to sustainable and resilient economic growth characterized by clean and healthy environments. Countries must therefore invest more in research and innovation, including addressing challenges of technology transfer to accelerate innovations and deployment of technologies in the energy sector. Further, there is need to promote public-private partnerships and collaboration through creative efforts to foster international partnerships, information sharing, 
and indeed establish novel financing schemes. We in Kenya reaffirm our commitment and resolve to work with others to accelerate climate solutions, keep to 1.5 degrees, and to ensure solutions are accessible and indeed affordable for all. We join the world today in launching the Breakthrough Agenda and say that Kenya is committed to working together with all countries to accelerate the development and deployment of clean technologies and sustainable solutions. Specifically, we endorse the proposed Glasgow breakthroughs pertaining to power and green hydrogen in the energy sector and look forward to transitioning and eventually exiting from the use of coal to clean power. Further, as a commitment to fight against climate change, part of Kenya's long-term strategy that is being finalized and depending on levels of international support, as well as the principles of equity and fairness, we project to meet net zero target by 2050. We urge all parties to step up their ambition in making clean technologies the most affordable, accessible, and attractive option in their social, economic, and development interventions. I thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, President Kenyatta.